Okay, today I'm gonna to make a short video showing how I take this boat out of my shop, take it off this cart and put it on a trailer. This is a 1958, 19 foot Chris Craft Capri and it's completed now and it's time to, to put it on the trailer and, and take it and put it in the water so, it could, uh, so the bottom can tighten up for a few days. So it's on this cart right now and those are eight inch by two inch phenolic wheels on there and I'm just gonna roll it out. The boat is, the beam is six, six uh, three wide and my door here is eight. When I brought it in here, I didn't have this concrete, so that's gonna help a little bit. And the ground is still a little bit soft, and uh, I'm, I've gotta deal with some tree roots here that are kinda of sloped down, and they're, uh, they're kinda of up and down. So I took the, the, the mat out of my pickup truck, the bed liner, and I laid it down. Hopefully that'll distribute the pressure from the wheels a little bit so it doesn't dig into the, to the ground. And then I just have some, some plywood over here. And then once it gets past, maybe I can move it. I'll figure it out. At least it's downhill here. And then once I get on the gravel, I'll be okay. I'll use my tractor and pull it over to the lifting rig, which I, I placed there yesterday. And I'll, I'll use the chain falls on the lifting rings to lift it up and put it on the trailer. So I'll stop the camera and I'll I'll start it back up when I when I get that boat probably like halfway out this door once I get it past the widest part of the boat the the boat. All right. Okay, I've got the boat hooked up to the tractor. And I've got the nose of it just pointing out of the door there. That's probably more line than I need, but uh, I want it to be further away so I can see what's going on uh, with the sides. I'll have to shorten that up when I get it almost all the way out. And I'll show you what I did here on the wheels. These, all these casters are swivel casters. And let me get in here. And when you're coming in and out of doorways, I've learned to clamp these. I've got a, a F-style clamp on the caster and then I clamped underneath holding it to that because these uh, these wheels with the cracks in the concrete and everything else when you're pulling or pushing um, the cart wants to go wherever it wants to side to side and I don't want it slamming into the to the jams to the sides so I clamp those I left the back free for uh, right now but once I get it out I might clamp it um, you know, I'll get it uh, halfway out of here, and then if I have to adjust these wheels, the cool thing is you could adjust them, you could turn them a little bit one way or the other and get it, this thing to steer where you want it to. Uh, it's not a big deal when you're out in the open, but coming through um, door openings like this, you don't want it moving side to side on you. So I'm just waiting for my buddy to show up. He's gonna kinda be on the inside here looking out, making sure that everything goes all right. Um, the doorway is eight foot wide, this is 6'3", so I should have a little over 10 inches on each side as long as I have this thing pointed the right way. So it's all hooked up and uh, I'll stop the camera and then I'll start it when we start taking it out of the doorway, all right? Okay, we have it out of the building, but I still have to clear that tree, so I'm gonna keep going on a straight line until I clear that. If I cut it too soon, that, that back corner might hit the tree.
camera back up when we get on the, on the path, okay? Okay, I have the tractor hooked up to the cart and the boat, and I'm ready to pull it into place. I'm probably not going to pull it all the way into the lifting station. I'm going to try to stay under that shadow right now because I'm still working on the back. So, here we go. Okay, so that'll do it for now. Uh, I'll start the camera back up when I have it all hooked up and ready to lift it and put the trailer on it, under it, all right? Okay, the boat's under the lifting station and I put the cover on it for the night. I was trying to put it in the water today but there was just too much to do, too many little things I had to do. I didn't want to rush and uh, get to Brian's at the end of the day and rush him. So we're gonna start fresh in the morning and. Uh, put the boat in to soak tomorrow morning but right now I've got the cover on it and I I hooked up the lifting rings just to put a little tension on the on this lifting station not that I think it'll go over but if we get a storm tonight or the wind blows I don't want to have to worry about this thing coming over on the boat it's just easy to hook these up put a little tension on it and then I know it's not going anywhere There's the cover pretty nice. There's a drawstring around this one. I had her so in a, the guy that only has a, a dock on one side, on the starboard side here, and he didn't have any way to get on the other side to snap it, so she sewed in this, this nylon line. I like how she did these corners. And then this cinches up under the spray rail and then it's just a simple, simple loop with a with a half hitch, a couple of half hitches, and then uh, this Velcro thing here, and it won't come off the front. The shape of the bow, plus it's under this line is under this this ring here that he hooks up to the trailer. It's not original, but it'll help to keep that cover down. So. That's it for the night. I'll uh, I'll start the camera up and uh, show you show how I lift this off of there, and then put the trailer under, and that'll be it. All right. Okay, it's the next morning, and I'm ready to put the boat on a trailer. I have the the boat is actually hanging right now from the chain falls. I have to bring the cart out sideways because that front timber is not going to clear the propeller. 
So I'll bring it out to the side on the cement and then I'll just put the trailer right under it. It should be high enough, I measured it. All right. So that'll do it for the, the short the video on how I lift the boat off the cart and put it on the on the trailer, alright?